today I'm talking about Joshua Hale Fialkov's mini-series titled Echoes. Not at all to be confused with Terry Moore's Echo. Two completely different stories. What we have here is an extremely haunting story which tackles um, a couple of real-world subjects. Um, we have mental illnesses and we have serial killing. Now, uh, I think that they balance each other well because the, the the fact that serial killing is not something most of us can relate to, most of us don't know somebody who's um, ever been a murderer of any kind, I hope, out there. Um, you know, we can't really relate to that, but I think most people uh, can relate to uh, at least the subject of mental illness, whether it's personally or at least through some sort of attachment. So the fact that the alcohol takes two extremely serious things and makes them work together and um, have it be very dramatic and be something that is compelling enough that you want to read it. I think it's a, a brilliant bit of, it's, it's honestly, it's like a little masterpiece in five issues. It's fantastic. Now, as far as the mental illnesses go, what he's done is taking the two most devastating ones you can imagine. He's got schizophrenia on top of Alzheimer's. It's just unbelievable how how difficult those things are individually. So to consider the fact that he's got a character in here suffering from both is just exponentially that much more devastating. Now the main character is named Brian, and he only, I say only, has the schizophrenia part, which um, you know it basically is a genetic link to his father. It's his father who suffers from both conditions. And uh, Brian is also expecting his first child. So here he's fresh out of an institution himself. He's got a baby on the way. He's bound to be thinking about, you know, what, if anything, will happen to this baby when he uh, ends up getting this confession from his father who's on his deathbed. And, you know, all signs point to his father being this absolutely evil serial killer. So as Brian goes and investigates, then the story un unfolds, and the pacing is absolutely perfect. This is this comic has the best pacing I've ever ever seen, and um, the artwork is by Rasan Ekadal, I believe is how you pronounce that. Grayscale, and I think that was the way to go, because I can't imagine introducing color into a story like this. I think the emotions and the drama really required black and white art. So, um, you know, props given there. It's absolutely the, be the best choice. Now, this is um, five parts, and it should be wrapped up in either April or May. And then in June, the collection will be available. It's from Top Cow. And I do hope to be getting an actual audio interview with Vialkov in the next couple of months. So hopefully you'll get to hear from him directly. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe before you log out and check out amberunmasked.com for more.